Hello everybody, a very good evening to all of you. Um, remember in my uh, last uh, short, or shorts as they call it, um, I did say, or rather I spoke about English being a very funny and peculiar language and I gave uh, one of the examples. Uh, and in continuation of that, uh, because I did say in that uh, one minute video that uh, in my next normal video talk, I will uh, elaborate on that. Elaborate means to give some more examples, etc. I mean, I'm going to say a short say, English is a short say, and I'm going to say a short say, and I'm going to say a short say. So, I'm going to say a short say, and I'm going to say আজকে কয়েকটি উদাহরণ সমেত বলবো যে কেন এবং কিভাবে ইংরেজি একটি আজব বা আজবি ভাষা ওকে সো লেটস গেট অ্যালং উইথ ইট আই হোপ ইউ অল উইল লিসেন টু ইট কেয়ারফুলি অ্যান্ড ইউ নো গাইজ কিপ দি স্মল স্মল লিটল লিটল থিংস ইন ইউর মাইন্ড বিকজ দে আর গোয়িং টু বি ভেরি হেল্পফুল টু ইউ ইউ সি It, it is very essential that you keep uh, improving your listening skills. Listen to it with the right accent and pronunciation. That is of paramount importance. Okay. Now, uh, going to English, well, let's start with, uh, let's start with uh, a bit of, what shall I say? <laughs> uh, a little bit of a talk before we uh, jump into the conclusion of English being indeed a very peculiar and funny language. Well, um, of course, not to say most of us are aware that it is a very peculiar language. <laughs> anyway, as we know that uh, India itself is known for its rich and diverse culture, as well as some very, very rich languages. You know, just to name a few, we have uh, such wonderful, uh, rich Indian languages like Malayalam, Bengali, Tamil, Ahomia, Kannada, and such. These are just a few I've mentioned. All right. And uh, you see, the British Raj ended over half a century ago. But they left behind the gift of English, <laughs> which still firmly holds sway <laughs> in India. And in fact, across the world, or rather I should say across the civilized and business world, all right? Now, um, however, we must um, keep in mind, uh, there's something, uh, you know, we really ought to keep in mind that um, English is indeed, uh, I've said uh, time and again, that it is indeed a funny language and it, you know, borrows heavily, it does borrows heavily from various languages and you know it keeps evolving like today was like Maidan, Bazaar, these are a part and parcel of the English word itself also and of course we are all aware that uh, dozens and dozens of French words have all become a part of the English language as well. Even the simple omelette that we make out of an egg is, is actually a French word. All right, and uh, uh, you know it, it. It depends a lot of rules, and at times, you know, it goes by, you know, no logic at all. So that's why it's such a peculiar language. So do listen to it uh, the uh, last next few minutes, and uh, you know, keep it in your mind and try to remember them, and you can also use them. You know, that is the beauty of this very funny language called English. I'll give you a few examples. Now see, number one, my dear friends, I mean, I'm giving you examples to show that uh, why and, and how at times English is such a funny language, you know. Now, example number one, you see, when uh, we transport, when we transport something um, by a car, we call it a Shipment. When we are transporting something by car, we call it a shipment. But when you are sending something, transporting something in a ship, 
It's called a cargo. Okay. So ideally, when you're sending something with a car should have been cargo and something by a ship should have been a shipment, but no. When you're sending something by a ship, it's a cargo and by car, it is a shipment. Okay. Now see, keep this in mind also. I'm going to give you just four little examples. You know, they are like double, ba double barrel words. Like a double barrel gun. So these are double barrel words. And, and, and it's so peculiar. I mean, you'll judge it yourself. Okay. Number one, and I'll give you an example. I mean, these words are double barrel words are used in the conversation or explaining situations or events or things. All right. A. Found missing. Found missing. One is found. You're finding something. The other is missing. But then it actually implies in finding something, discovering something. Like I can say uh, in the class, uh, there was a class in the college and say uh, Deepak Thakur was found missing from the class. Okay, you can say it like that. Or you can say even um, Upal was found missing from the class. Found missing. Let's see the combination of the two words, right? Duto alada ke liye. B. And these are always used together. Found missing is used together. Found missing from the class. Next, B. Act naturally. Acting is your acting. It's not natural and then naturally. So act naturally. And we use that. So you're telling that person, please be cool and calm and act naturally. Hello, lady. Hello, girl. Please act naturally when you go there. Isn't it peculiar? Number C, pretty ugly, pretty ugly. Oh, the political meeting turned pretty ugly. That means there was some lot of trouble and fight. the usual thing that happens to these political meetings at times, not always. So the whole political meeting turned pretty ugly. The situation was pretty ugly, so I left. So in one minute we are saying pretty it's beautiful, and then we are saying ugly also at the same time, which implies that it was not something good. All right? So keep these words also in mind. And D, finally, seriously funny. Seriously funny. So when we uh, somebody is telling something and we say, oh, or, or we are talking about some movie or something like that. Uh, we went for a comedy show and we say, oh, my goodness, the film, the movie was Seriously funny. It was seriously funny. I, I don't know how something funny can be serious at the same time, but seriously funny means very funny. Right? So these, and there are dozens and dozens, so I, I can't go on. You know, we are all busy. Uh, if I keep giving a lot of examples, two things will happen. Number one, it will take a long time and you people will get bored and run away. Number two, it will not stay in your head. That's better, little at a time. All right? And, you know, as I always say, grammar is important, but it is not very essential for a person to learn how to communicate well in English with the right accent and pronunciation. My main desire or objective here is to guide you all or enable you all so that you all can not only speak Speak properly with the good act, with the right accent and pronunciation, but also be able to understand what the other person or the speakers of native English are telling you. So that's why I say improve your listening skills. All right? I'm not here to, uh, you know, try to make you into professors of grammar. Okay? The English grammar is so complex and confusing. For the simple reason that its rules and terminology, that the nitty gritty, the terms, and you know a lot of other things, are based on Latin. Okay, like our a large number of our Indian languages, like Bengali, Hindi, etc. The root is Sanskrit. English has its root 
from, I mean, mainly a bit from Latin as well. So, you know, it's based on Latin, a language which, uh, with which it has uh, precious little in common, basically, uh, precious little in common. Now, making um, English grammar, or rather making English grammar conform to Latin rules, you know, if you're trying to make English grammar conform to the Latin rules, it's like asking, uh, you know, someone, uh, some people to play the uh, American baseball with our football rules. So it is as complicated as that. So stick to one thing. Simple English is the best English. And just try to keep practicing and focus on your listening skills as well. And do remember. With a pinch of salt, that's the term, that English is indeed a funny language. And my dear friends, we always look forward to a like from you. And if you have the time, please do put a comment. We love to see your comment. And if you people have not, or any of you have not yet subscribed to our very simple channel, please do so. It will be highly appreciated. Till we meet again. Bye-bye and take care of your health.